ever have a Katy Perry moment where you feel like one of these just drifting through the wind, almost like you want to start again? Hey crafters, welcome to Crafters Autonomous. So while you may not feel like a plastic bag on a regular basis, you probably have a lot of plastic bags around your home. I feel like it's this unspoken law, you have to save every plastic bag. So today I've got a project that's going to use up some of those plastic bags. Actually, it's gonna use up a lot of them because today we are going to be making jumbo plarn. So really the only materials you need to make this are plastic bags and scissors. Those are the only two materials we need to make jumbo plarn. If you want to know what inspired me to try this, you'll have to stick around till the end of the video. But let's jump into making some jumbo plarn. So one of the things I absolutely love about jumbo plarn is how easy and quick it is to make this. Because if you've ever made plarn, which if you haven't, check out my video up there. But if you've ever made plarn before, you know that it can be a fairly time consuming process. Not with jumbo plarn. I'm gonna show you how to do just one bag and then I'm gonna show you some tips for how to make this go way faster. So you're gonna start with a plastic bag and just wanna kind of get it spread out so that way it's laying flat, handles on either side. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to squish it this way. It doesn't matter how much I have on the left and the right. Yes, it will make my yarn a little thicker or thinner depending on how it is. So I do wanna make it fairly even, but it's not gonna make a huge difference. The main thing I wanna make sure of when I grab in the middle is that my handles are definitely one on either side. I don't wanna have it where, you know, my handle's kind of in the middle and I have two over here. I wanna make sure I'm grabbing between the two handles. And once I have it bunched up like this, I'm going to take my scissors and slice right through that. So if we look at this here, we have two half bags. We're going to turn each of these into a giant loop. So this will be a giant loop and that will be a giant loop. To do this, I'm going to basically cut a slit down this middle section. So the trick here is you wanna find the corner of the bag. We don't wanna cut beyond where the seam is because the seam gives stability. But everywhere above here, we wanna cut this. Now you could take your scissors and snip, 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 snip and go all the way down to the end until you get right up to that seam there to make your first jumbo loop. But an even easier way is to take your bag and just keep squishing it until you get to that seam at the corner. And then just that whole crumpled up section, just slice right through that and you have your second jumbo loop. Just like with normal plarn, we're going to be attaching these loops together. Really simple to do that. We're going to lay our first loop down and then our second loop on top of that. Then I'm gonna lift up from this bottom one, grab the left side of it and come through itself. And just cinch it up. And then once I get my next loop, I'll do the same thing, where I'll lay them on top of each other, pull the bottom one up, pull this other one through, and just keep tightening them as I go along. That's really all there is to it. I'll show you a couple pointers just to help speed the process up and to make your plarn turn out even better. So what I like to do to speed up the process is I like to cut several bags at a time. So I'm going to take my bags, just snap them open, lay them kind of like this, take my next one, lay it on top of it. I'm not even really worrying to line them up. The only thing I'm making sure is that my left hand will stay on the left side and my right hand will stay on the right side. As long as I don't end up with hand handles kind of in the middle, we're good. That's the only thing I'm worrying about. And I'll stack up five or six or even 10 of these bags. So now I have this jumbo stack of bags. As long as my handles are separated, we're good to just grab from the middle Grab the other end and crush this all together. This section that I've crushed together here, I take my scissors and cut through that. And now I will have stacks of half bags. Now the one step I haven't found a good way to speed up is this part where we crumple it, cut, and make the individual loops. You can do this multiples at a time where you crumple up your first one, and then crumple up your second one on top of that. But what I find happens is these corners get all jumbled up and sometimes you end up slicing all the way through the bag instead of creating a loop. So I really only like to do these one at a time. But if you find a good way to speed this part up, 
definitely let me know those ideas in the comments below. But just like that, I now have a nice jumbo plurin loop. Another thing I'll mention is when you do make your loops, I like to pull them so that way the bottom seam of the bag and the top of the handle are on opposite sides in the middle. And the reason I do this is because these are just some of the thinner areas. So I like to have these thicker areas that are possibly a little bit stronger for where I'm actually connecting. Because if we look here, when I do my connection here at the end, I wanna make sure that it's good and secure, that I don't have pieces tearing. So that's why I like to keep these seams, like the top of the handle and the seam from the bottom of the bag, why I like to keep them in the middle, not so much where the joint is. Another thing I'll mention is that when you join these, try to get as much of the air out as possible. You can pull pretty snugly on these without them tearing because we're doing such big chunks of the plastic. So try to get these really small because they will work out better in your projects like that. The last thing I will mention is also the inspiration for this video. So for my birthday, a friend got me this jumbo crochet hook. It's a size T. I didn't even know they went up that big, but it's super cool and I was just playing around with some different things and I was like, hey, I should try making some jumbo plarn. So when you go to crochet with this, I would recommend using a very large hook size. I found that doing this method, the size T, works really great. But that's all there is to making jumbo plarn. So at this point you might be wondering, that's cool and all, but what do you actually make with jumbo plarn? You can obviously go similar routes that we go with normal plarn, where you turn it into a reusable shopping bag, but it is a lot thicker, so that might not be the best use of it. A couple of other fun ideas would be to make a mat that you can use for when you're gardening, so that way you don't have to kneel in the dirt. Another idea is to make a cat bed, because it's actually really soft, and I realize that I've never shown my cats on my channel. I'm making this into a little bed cocoon kind of thing for Snickers here, and she seems to like it so far. Here, Snickers, do you have anything to say? That was very insightful. And as always, what's cool about Plarn is that it's really easy to clean out because you can just hose it down outside and then just leave it out to air dry and it doesn't really hold the water. So that's really cool about it too. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be making with your jumbo plarn. I've got a few more ideas on things that I'll try once I finish this one up, but the cool thing about jumbo plarn is you definitely go through a lot more bags, so you can kind of cut down on your supply of plastic bags through this. Thanks so much for watching my video, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up so other people know what's worth watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But until next time, happy crafting. Good kitty. Good kitty. You guys know why Snickers is so happy right now? She's so happy because she knows that you're about to subscribe to my channel. And that makes Snickers very happy. Doesn't it, baby? Doesn't it? <gasps> Gimme, baby. Gimme, baby. Look, the people want to love you. See?